Hello, welcome back to my Subawi kitchen. My name is Risa and this is Bawi. <laughs> Today, I'm going to show you how I make a complete and balanced meal for Bawi using ingredients that are easily available in the supermarket as well as ingredients that are very gentle for dogs with sensitive stomach. So this meal that I'm going to show you is also perfect if you like to transition your dog's current diet to a fresh food diet. Shall we get started? Before I get started, here are a few things to note. This recipe is formulated to the 2020 FCO standards for adult healthy dogs using animal diet formulator software. You need a kitchen scale and a micro scale for precise measurements. Always practice safe food handling and storage techniques. Introduce new ingredients slowly and monitor. Consult with your vet if you are unsure with any of the ingredients or if your dog has any health issues. Lastly, we always encourage that you feed your dog a variety of whole foods and rotate through formulated recipes to avoid any excesses or deficiency in specific nutrients. You can also learn how to make your own dog food and try more recipes in our ebook called Bowie Drools Offer the Alphabet. Click the link below to get your copy. Okay, let's get started. First, you will need 550 gram of lean chicken meat, like chicken breast. If your dog is allergic to chicken, you can substitute it with turkey or rabbit. Mince or dice the chicken if you're going to portion the meal. I prefer to dice the chicken to reduce the surface where bacteria can propagate. Plus, chunk meat gives more chewing satisfaction for Bowie. Do whatever works for your dog. If your dog cannot have raw or if you're not sure about raw meat and want to transition your dog's diet slowly, you can gently cook the meat. There are two ways to do it. One, lightly cook the surfaces of the meat on a frying pan, keeping the inside raw. This method will kill all the bacteria sitting on the surface of the meat. Two, add a little bit of water or broth into your frying pan and slowly cook the meat on low temperature until thoroughly cooked. Include the water or broth into the meal. Next, you will need 40 grams of liver. Liver is rich in B vitamins, vitamin A, iron, and copper. I chose livers from ruminants because they have higher copper level compared to livers from poultry. You can keep the liver as is or gently cook. Next is 70 gram of canned mackerel. You can also use salmon or sardines. I for the one in spring water and without salt. You can include the bones but drain it first before adding. Fish is a great source of omega-3 and vitamin D. I rotate between feeding canned and fresh fish. Canned fish generally has more vitamin D than the fresh one, but it can also be high in histamines. So if your dog has or prone to allergies, it is best to avoid canned or fermented products. Next is 150 gram of cooked pumpkin. You can also use plain canned pumpkin. The fiber in pumpkin is great for your dog's digestive health and can help with both constipation and diarrhea. Next, you will need 50 gram of steamed carrot. I prefer to steam the carrot in chunks with skin on then finely chop or mash to preserve the nutrients. With any starchy foods, you need to thoroughly cook to eliminate anti-nutrients and make them more bioavailable for your dog. Next is 40 gram of steamed green leafy vegetables, or you can also use zucchini. Here I have our homegrown spinach and kale. Green leafy vegetables are rich in vitamin K, vitamin C, folate, magnesium, and potassium. Next is egg. Egg is such a nutritious addition to your dog's meal. I will also include the eggshell membrane and the shells for calcium source. If you are concerned about feeding raw egg, feel free to poach it. Boil the eggshell before crushing or grinding to kill off any nasties. Next, you will need 8 grams of chia seeds. Chia seeds are a great source of fiber and omega-3. They are often added to balance off the omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids. Pre-soak the chia seeds to make them easily digestible for your dog. Okay, we're almost there. Just need to add a few more ingredients to complete and balance the meal. You will need 4 grams of psyllium husk powder. 
Psyllium husk is a great soluble fiber that can help with both constipation and diarrhea. Next is 1 gram of wheatgrass powder. I use wheatgrass for vitamin E, zinc, and manganese source. Last but not least is kelp or seaweed for iodine. Here I use 2 gram of dolls. You can also use kelp powder or iodized salt. Keep in mind that you don't need a lot of kelp powder. A little goes a long way. For example, if you use Now Bran, for this meal you will only need about 0.25 gram. To finish it off, serve the meal with homemade bone broth. You can find our easy bone broth recipe on our YouTube channel. Bone broth is extremely nutritious, healing, and gentle for your dog. It helps maintain a healthy gut, especially for dogs with digestive issues. It also supports your dog's immune system and joint health. Bone broth is also a great addition to your dog's meal for extra hydration and making the meal more palatable, perfect for those fussy dogs. There you go, a complete and balanced meal suitable for dogs with sensitive stomach. I hope you enjoy our little recipe. Don't forget to like, share it with your fellow dog parents, and subscribe to our channel for more healthy dog recipes. We'll see you next time. Take care and bye!